it's a red dot. Okay. All right. So I made run. Uh, this is my system. I'm not gonna climb up because the gentleman uh, is in a hurry. I just want to explain what, how the system works. So the crawl, basically, it's connected via this pulley to the bottom ascender here. So when uh, and this is a Grigri Plus hooked up to my belay uh, loop. I got here also connected uh, the rope, the other side of the rope. Let me just, uh, yeah, I'm kind of having a lot of slack here, but it's okay. Let me just get rid of all this slack, you know. So basically, the way this system works is uh, this is a backup, the crawl with a chest harness. Locking carabiners, very light this time, and uh, it's hooked up in a back here. So once I pull through here, it removes the slack from my grigri, and then I can continue. Obviously, this will be put to my foot here, and then the other one as well and once I pull this up I remove the slack I got the backup vertical here I can give an even leave more slack to be more vertical so continuing like this via the pulley the grigri removes the slack I'm just continuing up upwards when I finish, I just remove, I just remove both, I start with this because it's more complex. I just remove it here, I remove this, I remove this, and then I remove this, I can drop it, and then I can drop it, and always uh, the last step, I still have a backup, I make sure I hold this and with one hand I remove the crawl just like that, remove the rope and now I can I can uh, rappel myself or lower myself that's it okay So here I am, so now I'm just gonna remove the slack, this is pretty good, so let me check if it's all tight, yeah all good, here is good, okay. Put this to the crawl yet, you see? It's, a, it's an error. So, yeah, I can simply pull like this, so I back up right, right away. Thank you. 
Yes, the issue I have is here is a little tricky, but you will do for now. This kind of this is giving me a little hard time here. I have to figure this uh, technicality, but it still works. Okay. Maybe if I leave it more slack, then it's easier to to go up with it. Yeah, that's that's the idea. I just leave enough to be safe. I'll we'll leave it a bit more slack. Yeah, that's that's how it works. Right on. So now I can remove the slack. I think the height should be good enough for now, eh? I can go down. Alright, so what I'll do now... Like I said... Uh, I'm going to... Remove... The lower ascender because it's more complex, it's a pulley. So it won't have any issues... To be removed... If I do it the second choice. Just gonna remove it like that. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna go a bit higher. Okay, I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna go a bit higher because I miscalculated something here. Okay, finally. That was a trick, you know. It's all about the slack. It's all about removing the slack. Okay. This is good to go. The other piece, the pulley. Also good to go. Put in my harness. Okay. Now I'm just gonna go a bit a bit higher again. Actually no, I don't need to just gonna two pieces I'm gonna remove the crawl now let me see if I got enough tension on uh, on my harness I need tension I should work 
I'm gonna lower myself a little. Yeah, I should have let a bit more slack here, you know. I have no choice but to... I have to hold some slack first before I continue. Because uh, otherwise I don't give enough tension. Okay, good now. A bit more. Yeah, should be good enough. Let's see here. Okay. Now I'm going to remove the crawl. And now I can rappel. Yeah. Yeah, the Grigri Plus. Uh, got caught and he stopped me again you see that's a trick when uh, you use a Grigri Plus and you pull too hard it will auto block for safety back up now I'm continuing my lowering so that will do it thanks for watching hi folks this is Adrian from Calgary I'm not going to record all these uh, five different videos. The bottom ones are taken with the action camera, two separate times, and the top three are with. Uh, I put my Sony camera on a tripod about 15 meters away. Eventually, some passerby came over and uh, I was able to, to ask him to film me from a closer distance and uh, obviously with more details, which was great. But in any case, uh, this footage is also my first three trials as the gentleman filmed me was after these so uh, you can see in this I believe uh, all the three upper videos my chest strap was a bit uh, I had to readjust it to to remove some slack in order to make it the crawl more vertical which was the case when uh, the person filmed me on the close-up video yeah I was just playing with a uh, slack from various items for example the slack from the uh, Grigri Plus to the pulley and then from the lower ascender to the pulley 
you have to play a little bit with uh, slack you have to leave some slack don't get too close these items together because then uh, you won't be able to when you want to repel, remove them easily as it happened to me when uh, the person was filming Ed or uh, there'll be difficulty of moving the ascender upwards if it's too close to the pulley so once I played with uh, slack now it should be quite straightforward 100% safe with backup this scroll is phenomenal it's uh, is a backup in case for whatever reason the Grigri Plus would give up even though technically I still have the two Ascension Ascenders so at the end when I remove first the lower ascender because it has the pulley attached to it so there are more items I want to get rid of it first for the to be less clumsy following it will be the upper ascender then will be the pulley no no never mind the pulley was already with a lower ascender i mean here there will be the crawl so once i remove the crawl i make sure i hold the lowering side of the rope with the grigri i never let it off by itself for safety measures and then the last step is simply lowering myself or rappelling and uh, that'll be it the tree from last Sunday, a week ago I took just about these items to an area where I could rappel and reascend however at the time I was using a small carabiner to hook my pulley and it was a tiny one and it gave me a hard time to to use it I would rather use a, a larger carabiner for this purpose as I use now on my trip however I had issues with uh, windy conditions when I was throwing the rope I didn't know the exact method to deal with the windy conditions I studied it this week there are some uh, methods to minimize the 
potential tangling of the rope. I didn't use it. I just went uh, kind of correcting the way the rope landed. However, this rope was new and somehow it got tangled. When I was trying to rappel myself at about five meters from the bottom, I believe it was about 30 meter rappel with a double rope. Speaking of which, uh, one oh, what is called. Um, one side of the rope is hooked up with a double figure eight to the double loops of my harness and the other rope is hooked up like you can see here via the Grigri Plus and then the crawl so what I was saying is at five meters from the the bottom of that rappel or lower I had no choice but to go start climbing up and remove the eventual knot that blocked my my rappel. Yeah, I can actually prevent this tangling in a rope. Like I said, I watch other uh, videos where you just have to straighten your rope before you start using it. And uh, there shouldn't be any more issues, even with uh, now almost new rope. So once I went back up on that trip, I uh, I just pulled the rope up and uh, went back home because it was just getting too late. So today I went at the river to to practice some more to get the experience for uh, this method now I can say I'm quite confident that in a similar situation I can already lower myself and climb up and lower back wherever is necessary on this type of uh, situation. I really enjoy it and because all the gear that I'm using I purchased it to be with a minimal weight wise but also 
maximum efficiency. For example, the two ascension ascenders for me are a must. I will not be able to use just a couple of prusiks or uh, some other gear without handles. There are a whole variety. These handles make a a world of difference. Yes, yeah, the bottom right video it's almost uh, I believe to the end as well. I believe I'm going to be rappelling shortly. So yeah the Gri Gri also while it only allows a rappel of one rope at a time instead of two which an eight or a belay device uses. Now I'm still going up here I think. Or maybe I'm just uh, removing gear. We'll see in a second. So like I said uh, the Grigri Plus it's a phenomenal piece of gear. It has a safety mechanism in case you pull too much from the handle it blocks and then you can release it again. You can lower yourself very smoothly without the need for backup and uh, It's a fantastic piece of gear for 200 grams that it weighs. It works to carry every gram of it. The same goes for 165 grams that Ascension Ascender Petzl weigh each. However, I, I purchased the lightest 44 grams locking carabiners that I use for the crawl. The crawl itself weighs, I believe, I don't know, 88 grams or something. The shoulder strap for the chest strap for the crawl, another, I don't know, 50 grams maybe. And if you sum up, the only heavy item is a rope, which is 4.7 kilogram. Alright, uh, looks like the videos are end ended, so thanks very much for watching. I hope this was useful. Cheers.